Joe, if I put that yeah. down there, are you all right to have a look through it? Yeah. How much would you have to roughly for your Xbox, please? Um, Xbox and all the games. Yeah. 20 quid. 20. Yeah, does it work all right, do you know? Yeah, I yeah. might need a scout lead, is it? We'll yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank yeah, you. That's all right. Thank you. Spot on. Thanks. Are they all the games you've got? Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers for that. Thank you. Do you know what? I'll tell you what, it's been a while since it's been back to the crowd like this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like shift this table, so it's like after 20 cars. Oh, is it still there? Uh, hanging about somewhere? Yeah. Oh, on that stall? Yeah. No, I don't think there was one before. Landmaker. Landmaker. Did anyone buy it? Yeah, it's been bought, not by me, but it's no. Oh, is it nothing thingy? No. That's all right then. It looked, uh, yeah. it looked like it was going to be a good one, but it wasn't. Oh, right. Oh, thanks for letting me know anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, um, yeah, he brought some out, but and I said, is that all you got? And he said, yeah, but I thought I wasn't hanging about any longer, you know. But yeah. Oh, thanks for letting me know though. Can you come out with something sound? What Lego set's this from, do you know? Um, they're all Christmas ones. Yeah, Christmas ones. Yeah. I thought it was from a, a Harry Potter one or something. Maybe one of the Harry Potter advents. Yeah, so that I'm one sure. was. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. And then the rest are just basic Lego ones. Mm. You right, Sam? Yeah. You got anything yet? No, not a thing. No, also I haven't missed anything yet. How much is your record player? How much is your top plate? Oh, that's ten pounds. Ten. How much did you have on this please, mate? Uh, 30 on that. 30. Do 20 for the lot. Yeah, go on then, I'll do 20 for the lot, yeah. How much is your Xboxes, please? The five pound island, but there's no leads with them. Okay, no worries. Work. Okay. Do you have any games with them? I think um, I think that's about all I've got left. Of some ones, okay. How much is it? Oh, two pounds sweet out. Yeah, I can. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, I'll take this one, thank you. I'll just get you a fiver, all right? I'll take that one, thanks. There you are, thank you. Cheers. That's a rugby point to use for the uh, floor. How much would you have for your games, please, mate? Uh, depending on which one you want. Okay. Some are a couple of quid, some are a five if you're PlayStation ones. So. There's a few more than you are. Selling your games separate in here, or? Yeah. You got any other ones with you, apart from no, these in the Xbox now? now? Okay. How much was uh, these ones, mate? That's a five, and mm -hmm. just a couple of quid. Couple of quid, okay. How much was your Xbox, please? Uh, I'm going to do 20 for that. Could I have a look at it, please? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The box is a bit battered, but the rest of it's fine. Yeah, that's cool. Let's have a look, sir. How much are the games, please? I think they vary, some are a couple of quid, though. Yeah, some of them are some are five, I don't know which one. I'm sure I'll... Uh... Are you good for your dude? No, it's fine. You're holding the arm, isn't it? Are you taking any of them, mate? Or? No, 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 we'll look. Cheers. No worries. How was you after? No, oh, you just asked. No worries. Really mm -hmm. You didn't know that one, did you? No. How much is that one, please? Yeah, just a couple of Might be taped, I might have. <laughs> yeah, no worries. You wouldn't saw the box on its own, would you? Because I've got a Gears console and I need the box, but obviously that's a white console. Yeah, just, so just wondered. You might be a Thanks, mate. I'll just have a lot. Cheers for that. No worries. Cheers, mate. No worries. Yeah, all right. Sorry, I was figuring about out whereabouts it opens. I think that might open there. Yeah, I don't know whereabouts it should open, I think to be honest. It's about there. Yeah, I think. There we go. Oh, time, mate. Should we take all this out? Ta. Would you sell a controller? Like, just the one? I know, obviously, you'd, you'd keep yeah. one with it. Yeah, yeah. Probably be interesting if... Uh, Um, how much could you do for the box, mate? What would you want for the box? I've not thought about that, to be honest. Um, uh, would you do a tenner for these? Yeah. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, mate. I'll pop some. Yeah, great. Let's quickly just give it a check. Yeah, no worries. Ah, I think that one's. Um, oh, it's not in the, any any of the cases, is it? Yeah. Um, I'm just buying these at the minute. It's these few, yeah. but um, that's got something yeah, different in. Quid, so it's just yeah. checking for me. Yeah, um, I think I ain't got it. I think it's the wrong one, unfortunately. Mm. 
Oh, no worries, mate. Yeah, That's sorry fine. about that. That's okay. So uh, put, yeah. Put up if you want. Still. Yeah, cheers. Right. Do you wait for eight for them? Yeah, yeah. So, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, you haven't long got you, to be honest, Stevie. Yeah, I only just got you. I only done yeah. it so far, despite um, I hope more people. Will yeah, thank you, mate. Cheers for yeah, that. No um, yeah, well, I've not on been but um, I bumped into Sammy. Said there's there's not really been anything. Is it? Right. So right. don't think you you'll have missed out on out. No, no, you'll no, be no. all right. Jamie's Sorry, mate. Get out of your way now. Some gears are more free box to go with your console. Yeah. Yeah, just the old one. Isn't yeah, I've just gra just grabbed that one. I, oh, I thought the box would be yeah, cool. Um, yeah, thought I'd buy the box in a couple of games, Indeed. but um, yeah. I'll just quickly check these rows and I'll chuck these yeah, back right. at the car, I think. Yeah, but yeah, I hope you do well, Stevie. You. What you got in there, mate? Yeah, town. Town, town, town. Oh, is it? What year was it from? Uh, two years ago. All oh, right. All right, just travel up. How much was you yeah. after for it, roughly? Uh, do you know? Tenner. Tenner? How did you get hold of it? Was it a competition or? No, I sponsored him. Oh, you sponsored him, do you? I sponsored the player, yeah. Oh, nice. Which player is it? Gibson. All oh, right, nice. <laughs> you asked, mate. Oh, we're not in there. <laughs> Mm. I'm trying to pad some. Pop in there, mate. Controllers, uh, look for five of each, mate. The Generation 2 Red and Blue. Yep. PlayStation 4. They've been one, mate. Uh, they look alright. Yeah. How much are they? A fiver. Do you know how much roughly they are, mate? Do you, do you know if it's like 5, 10 or...? Um, the cars would be 8. 8, OK. Individual. Yeah. Um, again, that'd be 8 because there's only one. All right, no worries. That's 15, and then there's a duo set up there at 15. All right, no worries. Thank you, mate. Yeah, that's all right. Have a fun chair. Here you go, then. Yeah? How much was your jumper, please? <laughs> Two, thank you. Yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Are you got any? No, no, no. That's Not yet. PS4. Oh, let's have a look. Cheers, mate. How much do you have for your games, please, mate? It's all going to be priced. All right. I did add a lot, but there's nothing much for me. No worries. Thanks, Stevie. Either. Excuse me, have you got any Xbox stuff? I've just seen you've got a cable there. Oh, is it? No worries. How much you after for that, please? Quid. Yeah, we'll take that if that's all right. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. 
Thank you, Chad. Thank you. Just wish you had any computer games with your old dear. I've got some Xbox ones, but I don't yeah. know where they are yet. Yeah, no worries. Can I have a look once you get to them, please? Yeah, there's not loads. There's yeah. only a couple. All right. All right, done. Or in fact... She says... Thank you. How much was you after from, please? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want for your games? Do you want a pound each? Um, or do you want a bit more for your Lego one? Uh, 50p for them and a pound for the Lego, please. Yeah, so 250 for more, yeah? Yeah. Yes, cool. Please. Yeah, might I just have a look at the discs? All right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, of course you are, yeah. So they have all been looked after. Yeah, that's great, thank you. He's pretty good at taking them out, putting them straight back in the case. Yeah. I never really used to play all of them. Yeah, spot on, thank you, I'll just get you the money. <laughs> How many your action figures? Um, there you go, thank you, mate. Just put that in your pocket for now, mate. How much is your Xbox games please? Yeah. Do you have any other games or is it just these ones? No worries. <laughs> Should have worries. Yeah, I'll take these if that's right. Pound from both, is it? Like 50p yeah. each, yeah? yeah? Cool, thank you. Right. Yeah, that's absolutely Everybody fine. Can... Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. It's all right. Thank you. Yeah, it was just there I was looking at in that box, thank you. Yeah, yeah just have Xbox ones, please, yeah. Um, I paid 50p for them other games, would you yeah. do the same on them? Yeah, is that right? Is that right? Thank you, yeah, if, yeah. if I could just have a quick look at the disc, that's great, thank you. Yeah, it's all right, yeah. Boys. I just double check, yeah. Um, yeah, so 250 for them all, yeah? yeah Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> I really appreciate it. That's all right. <laughs> Do you have any other games anywhere, do you know, in the back? I don't or? Think so, because I'm sure she only put them ones in. Thank you. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you for that. You. Cheers. <laughs> How much was you after roughly for your box? Do you have any prices in mind or just out of curiosity? Yeah. 
Okay. Let me wait. Don't pick them up. Oh. Yeah. It's more of a younger kid set. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hi, mate. They came bounding over. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. 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 I'll do Forty quid to buy, that's right. Yeah. It's quite a good one. It's a pop suit, you know, it's a little bit. It's everywhere, isn't it? It's full set. Got change for ten, please, mate. Yes, this one, thank you. That's what I'm going to do, mate. That Batman one is part of a set. Thank you, mate, appreciate it. Cheers. How much was your jackets, please? Uh, everything on there is just a pound to get pound. it on. Cool. And these? I'll just take this jacket, please. Thank you. What's this? A coat type. How much is it? Thank you. Uh, three pounds. Oh, three. Have you got any other game size? Is that it? Yep. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Cheers. Yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mate. I was about to ask, how's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. Good. good. How are you done today? All right? Yeah, bits and bobs. Yeah, good. Fair, mate. Get that out of the way. Have you? 
Yeah, 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 bits and bobs again. Yeah, just the odd games and a, a figure, and that's about it, really. Sorry. No. I thought you were looking. No, no. When you right. said really, I thought you. <laughs> oh no, sorry. I'm, I, I'm, I was butting in. No, on you. sorry. I was uh, <laughs> just chatting, mate. You're all right. We keep saying the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, think, I think there's been quite a few games here and that. I think everyone's picked up bits and bobs, so everyone's got at least something by the looks yeah. of it. Hello. Sorry, mate. I'm Trish after from Plays, mate. Only a couple of quid each. Well, was you a quid on that one? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, quite a two on them, mate. Right. Thank you. What's well. going on, guys? Welcome to the latest Caboo video game hunting episode pickup section. Hope you've uh, enjoyed all the footage from the Caboo so far, and uh, I'm here to go through the pickups with you guys. Um, so thank you for your support. Um, there's a few things here. I think there's just a couple that weren't on the footage because it's when my GoPros died. Um, so the, these following pickups are an accumulation of the last few weeks because the first couple of weeks it was pretty poor because we had like some poor weather. Um, and then I think one of the weeks um, it was just, just literally hardly any game stuff whatsoever. I think literally all of us who, who collect game stuff, I think we did like poor all across the board, you know. Uh, but yeah, this last weekend we've done um, a lot better than the last couple of weeks. Um, and, you know, I've, I've been able to accumulate enough footage for an episode. So, uh, yeah, as you guys will see, it's kind of recently-ish been my birthday. Um, back on June the 14th. Um, obviously, we are, we are like obviously a few weeks behind with having to accumulate footage. But, yeah, I've, I've, still, I've literally still got my cards up. Um, it's like 1am right now, so just bear with me. I, I just literally... Um, I'm, I'm jetting off on holiday in a few days. And I just wanted to make sure that I get this episode out before. Um, so, yeah, I'm literally recording like as... As and when I literally can between shifts. So, um, yeah, we are, we are literally hardcore right now throughout the night. 24 hours, guys, we go for. Uh, but, yeah, um, massive shout out to um, a local uh, YouTuber, Stevie T. Um, I'll include a um, link to his YouTuber on screen. He very kindly got me a birthday card and a pack of Pokemon cards. So, um, thank you very much for that, man. I did say to him that I'd open these um, on the next uh, pickups video. So, I'll just open these now. So yeah, it was very kind of him. Um, this is from the Scarlet and Violet set. So we'll see what pulls we get from this pack. We've got Tarantula. I'm, I'm a little behind on some of the Pokemon names, you know. Riolu, I know this one. We've got one of the OGs in here. We've got Magneton. Always nice to see the OGs pop up. But yeah, very welcoming, you know, of the, of the new Pokemon. Klawitza, Flamigo, Foratress. God, it's been years, man, since I've opened a uh, Pokemon card. I've actually got old Pokemon uh, card openings on this channel from years ago. Uh, Rocky Helmet. Got a little hollow of Judge. Got Fuacoco. This is like a, I think this is a throwback of, of an OG card. Professor's Research. I'm sure there's a Professor Oak's Research one from the OG. Got a Electric Energy. And then we got a uh, one for the trading card game Live. 
Well, yeah, thank you for these, Stevie. So I'm very glad to add these into uh, my Pokemon card collection. Thank you for those pulls, man. Really happy with those. Um, like I say, I'll, I'll put those with my um, other cards. I've, I've got, like, the um, the OGs, like, the, the very first base set. I've got, um, you know, like, the, the base set two, the um, all sorts, man. I've got, like, uh, the, the gym challenge ones, um, the Neo Genesis, the other Neo sets and stuff. And then I've also got, like, the more modern ones, which um, I did collect um, some years ago. So thank you very much, man. Uh, so kind of you to get me a card. And... Those pack of Pokemon cards. So massive shout out to, to Stevie. Please be sure to check him out. Um, so yeah, onto the pickups, guys, uh, that we've got from the car boots. Um, I think on one of the weeks, I, I can't really do these in order. It's, uh, it's a little hard to try and recall. Um, but I think on one of the weeks, I uh, managed to find a couple of um, 360 games, quid each. So we've got Lego Indiana Jones 2. Nice and complete. I think these are decent condition. And Iron Man too. Um, yeah, I remember on this week it, it was very slim picking. So it was just really good to at least find something, you know, to find a couple of, of decent, you know, titles. Um, I did find this as well. It's um, the, I think, 120 gigabyte. It is, yeah. Uh, 360. Really want sure on the value of these or anything. It's not got cables or anything, but... Um, it, they wanted the fiver for it, and I think they also had like um, a white 360. I, I can't remember what gigabyte it was though. I think it could be anything from like, is it like six, three, six gigabyte? And then was it 60? I'm, I'm totally out of the loop, guys. Totally out of the loop with the um, the old gigabytes on the, the previous 360 models. But um, yeah, I did check the value, and CX seemed to sell these for like 60 quid onwards. So I thought obviously it'd be a decent deal if it did work. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed I've not yet tested it, but I thought for a fiver, for a 120 gigabyte one, I thought, you know, it's probably worth a punt. So we got that. Um, and then, yeah, I, I think I kind of messed up on this one, guys, because, um, this guy was selling a 360. Um, I think he wanted like 20 quid for it. And I really don't like paying too much from, because it's like, I've already got one, but what caught my eye was the box. So it's gears one and two. And, um... Basically, you know, you guys know, it's very early at the car boot. You will also understand, obviously, if you were also um, car boot goers. Um, so I do have, um, I showed it on a previous video, didn't I? I've got the, it's actually the Gears of War 3 edition um, console. So I've got that. Um, and I, I don't know why, but I kind of confused it. I thought, oh yeah, I've got the console, so it goes in here. And I, I literally just yeah, got totally confused which Gears it was. So um it, it literally says on the box, I've literally just seen that, what a tit. But anyway, um, it is just a standard white 360 that comes in here. Um, but yeah, I think it worked out all right in the end, you know. Um, I think it is a white one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what a tit. I'm, I can't believe what a tit I've been, honestly. Um, but yeah, really cool box. Um, I can't believe it's got the innards to some extent. Yeah, it, it has actually got some inserts. I don't know if you guys can see. I won't rip it apart just now because I need to really carefully go over this because the guy, it, it like proper taped it up. So I had to kind of slightly damage it to get in it. Um, but yeah, at the time I was a bit mistaken. Obviously I said to him, I was like, oh, I've already got the 360 for this. Can I just have the box? Um, which I'm glad about because he, he literally didn't really want that much for the box. I, I basically got this and I think two PS1 games for like a tenner. I was happy with that, to be honest, for this and the inserts. Um, I'm really happy to have this box variant. Um, I'm sure I will come across, um, yeah, it was a 60 gigabyte uh, 360 that sh should have come with it. So that's fine. It can easily be replaced. So um, I was really happy to get that box. I got this and then there was two games there that, like I said, the titles weren't amazing or anything, but... Um, you know, there was a couple which I didn't have. Um, I was really happy to see uh, Gallagher. I think you say like Gallagher or Gallagher. People are different, but I, I, I believe it's Gallagher. I usually say that. I know um, two EUK fellow retro collector. Um, I, I know he's highly promoted it as, as Gallagher. Uh, so yeah, this is Gallagher Destination Earth. So I was real happy to see this one because I actually needed this for the collection. So all really nice. It's even got one of them... Um, it's even got one of them old little postcards there. So it's proper cool. Um, but yeah, um, what was I going to say? 
I think got like a pretty decent deal because I did look up this um, afterwards because I, I thought I don't think it's like the cheapest game and I think it seems to go from like anywhere between say 10 to 13 pounds so it's not bad I think that was all right um in the end and also I've been wanting this for ages I've never seen it around to purchase but you know I've heard of it it looks decent it's world's scariest police chasers I think it looks decent anyway I think the cover is very adrenaline induced I, I really love the the cover of it I've always liked the look of the game and um, so it's actually really cool to um add that to the collection finally yeah proper cool so yeah, I'm sure it was these two games and the box for a tenner. I didn't mind it all, to be honest. Like I said, I really like this box variant, so um, I'm happy to get that. Like I said, we can easily um, slot a console into that. Um, this next pickup, um, not gaming related, but um, I just found it was really funny in the footage, actually, because uh, you will have seen uh, how I edited it. Um, so basically, th there was... Um, I basically kept the GoPro running on this store because it was a really good stall. Um, I mean, the guy had loads of um, real thick, um, like Marvel and DC kind of, um, you know, kind of like annuals, memorabilia, things like that. You know, where it's just saying, you know, the years of DC, the years of Marvel, stuff like that. People were trying to pick them up, but he was like, just leave them on there because they're my weights to keep the the um, the sheet down. I was like, fair enough, you know. Uh, nothing really that, that caught my fancy because I do like the odd um, graphic novels and things like that. I collect like the odd like Batman and Joker ones because I really love the darkness of it. Uh, really like Venom as well from the Marvel Universe. Um, you know, I, I dip into a bit of both Marvel DC. But anyway, he started pouring out a load of figures as you'll have seen in the footage. Um, there were some good ones that were dropping out and um, I appreciate like very much uh, had to be a vulture in this one because there were several people. I mean, I was hovering around stuff quite a while as you can see, obviously was filming for a little bit but um you know that people you know they started to click on and then just kind of swarm the stall got very swarmed there uh, for quite a while um but yeah just had to kind of just crouch down and just kind of wait for these figures to drop and see if there's anything decent um but yeah th there was getting quite picked over there was like uh i know there was a really nice pennywise in there pennywise the clown uh, from the it, it series um I know there's a lot of Rick and Morty things like that. I did see, I think he's called Ab Abomination. Um, I did see him drop out and that's when I, I did reach. I thought I will, I will grab that. And then it was funny because I think a guy grabbed like his, his other arm or his leg or something. And he kind of made this like growling noise. And it reminded me of that um, that meme, you know, with that guy. There was like that old guy and he's next to his missus or something. He's like, they came bounding over and he started like um, growling. It kind of reminded me of that um so um yeah <laughs> it was just real funny but there was no hard feelings whatsoever um afterwards i actually talked to the guy and he, he was all right to be honest he, he uh he came up to me and said how did you do and whatever i was like oh, i only got the one figure um and i, I said to him how did you do but i, I did see when i was because obviously i bought this i started walking off because i thought i've been a long time at this stall so um you know i don't know if anything else is coming up um you know is coming on the other stalls uh gaming wise whatever um, so yeah, I did shoot off, but as I was going on my travels, you know, just walking um, around and that, um, I did see he had quite a bundle. So, you know, I said it looks like you did well and whatever, but he was a sound guy that no hard feelings. You know, I, I just edit the footage sometimes because I just think it's a funny moment. So uh, I, I just really enjoy um, the really like the real comedy moments at the car boot. I, I think that's honestly like, you know, you have the thrill of the hunt, but that's also what makes it. It's just those um you know non-scripted comedy moments I, I think that absolutely makes the car boot episodes and i really enjoy um coming across them and editing them um the, the, you know there's been loads and there's also been other times where um my gopro uh cameras ran out and I, I haven't managed to capture them but it's always good when i do um capture them for the footage so uh yeah like you say i'll always make it clear you know when there's no hard feelings or whatever um i don't like to edit the footage in a way that's like detrimental to others or you know the experience or whatever uh, but anyway, uh, real nice figure, real awesome quality. He I think he literally weighs about as much as me. Um, real awesome quality, yes. Uh, I got this for a fiver, and the guy said it goes for like 40 online. And I have to check it. it is probably along the lines of that, anywhere from like maybe 25 to 40, um, the figure has gone for. So, um, yeah, really cool, guys. R real nice um, buy there. I, I do sometimes dip into figures, Um you know, or like, say, the Marvel DC Universe and things. You, you know, the odd things that I like. I'm not an absolute mega fan, but, um, yeah, like I said, I like dipping into the, the series. Um, something else I, I bought, it was very random. Um, 
I haven't even tidied it up yet because this was literally how it was when I bought it. Um, it's like a, a sealed VGA HD AV cable. It was just a quid. Um, so I just thought, um, you just don't see them often. So I just thought it was a cool little purchase. Still got to clean it up and everything. So it has got a little dirt and stuff. And, um, you know, I have to close it up a bit, a bit nice and stuff. But I just thought it was pretty random. Um, but yeah, decent though. I thought it was cool. Um, this was a cool find as well. And you'll see when I approach the stall, as soon as I saw them, there, there was some, some people already stood there, but as soon as I saw them, I immediately said like, how much are the E360 games? Just so obviously I've already asked about them. And then I reached through and got them. Um, so really cool. Just 50p each. Um, Silent Hill Homecoming. And Silent Hill Downpour. This is the American version though. You know, I was, I was well aware obviously, but um, for 50p is way too good to pass up. So really cool. I actually picked up um, Downpour from uh, CX for 40 quid. Um, as you'll have seen it in the previous episode, I did get it with credit though. So obviously that's the whole, um, you know, um, that's the whole, um, aim of, of like video game hunting. It's, it's just so good to be able to uh, accumulate the CEX credit and then you can trade it in for the, the games, which are, you know, some of them are like extortionate price. It's really helped with my retro collections. And I know a lot of other, um, collect retro collectors, um, they've, They've built full full sets, you know, Mega Drive, um, you know, um, all sorts, SNES, N64. They've, they've built, like, full collections um, off the back of CEX through um, trading for credit. So it really is an amazing system, and I'm well grateful for that. It, it's helped me get a lot of games and, um, you know, help out my collection. So, yeah, really cool, guys, to find those for just 50p each. I was absolutely buzzing seeing those of all games, you know, just, just laid out on the floor. It was really cool. Right, so in here, I've got a bag of um, loads of Xbox One games at uh, this um, previous car boot. I didn't, I did manage to get any PS4 games or anything like that. But yes, yeah, so, you know, some car boots you you just kind of end up um, picking up like for the same platform. Sometimes, sometimes there's just an abundance of Xbox, um, you know, or PS. And uh, I think this was a pretty much a, a bit of an Xbox car boot. Did find this stray game though. Um, like I say, I want to show on the value, but I don't think there's much in it, but it's fine. I'll just literally throw it in, um, you know, either for um, credit or maybe sell it on a, um, a show or something. I'll put it with a bundle. Uh, Final Fantasy X. It was only a cheeky quid, so it's nice condition anyway. Um, I just thought it was worth a punt, but yeah, not all the Final Fantasies are actually worth too much. But it's fine. I just thought I'd, I'd take a punt on that. Um, so these ones, uh, which ones did I get? I think um what them ones if i'm right i think the, these are from like two, i think two separate stores i think these are the ones oh, i can't which ones now actually um or was it i think i don't think it was these it's hard to tell guys but i remember um i got i know i got lego movie video game i got this and um, they're all nice and complete with, with the discs and stuff um I got this for a quid, and then the, the lad had another couple of games, and uh, they wanted a quid for the Lego, and then 50p for the other two. I can't remember if there was, like, if there was potentially, like, Rayman and a, a racing game. Um, I've probably got it completely wrong, but um, I, I think it was something like that anyway. Um, so I, th I think all the, the rest of these were 50p each, I believe. So, yeah, Rayman Legends, fours of four. Um, we've also got, I think these were off the same stall as the Silent Hill because she had a, a few more games um, and then she she said, oh, I don't know how much I want from it. I just said, you know, I bought the other ones for 50p. Did, did you want 50p for these? And um, she said, yeah, no problem. Uh, she was happy with that. So um, absolute bargain on that stall, guys. It was, it was a really good one. Um, so, yeah, I've got uh, Falls of Five. That's quite an oldish one. That was a launch title, that, along with Dead Rising 3. Proper happy to come across this one, guys. You know I'm a massive Resident Evil fan, but I, this is one of the games I've not even yet played, um, and I need to get this played and streamed as well. Resident Evil Revelations 2. So I've actually got a physical copy of it now. I've actually really wanted this from uh, CX for ages. And uh, I remember saying, um, I think I said on the footage as well, um, 
I was like, oh, I've been after this for ages. I think I like talked to myself on the footage as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm that mad, guys. Um, but yeah, real happy with that, guys. Um, I've played the first Revelations, but not played the second. I pretty much know the, the plot of this one. Um, but yeah, real happy to have um, the physical version of it. Uh, we've got Dirt Rally 2.0. This will be cool to jump into because uh, I've not played any of the Dirt games in ages, man. I know some of them are on Game Pass. I don't know about that one if that is. Uh, Need for Speed Rivals. Yet again, another one in the Need for Speed series I haven't uh, played. And also Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, I believe I, I did pick up a copy of this last week because I actually needed it for the collection. Um, but still, you know, so, sometimes it, some titles are too nice to just leave behind, you know, when they're cheap enough. Um, so, guys, before I get to the final one, which um, which has been, you know, one of my favourite purchases, to be honest... Um, I'm getting quite, we're getting quite a knack of getting uh, Wii bundles in trays. <laughs> Didn't actually manage to capture this on the footage because this was literally right at the end, one of the last cards that rolled in. Um, so, yeah, found this literally as soon as I put it out. Um, just, just bear with me, guys. I'm going to have to um, just bring this over. That's it. <laughs> You're going to knock off all the other um, pickups there. Um, so, yeah, you can see... I think you should be able to see anyway. This is absolutely just loaded with Wii stuff. Um, and he just said, uh, just give us a tenner, you can take the lot. So yet another Wii tray bargain, literally in these plastic trays. Um, yeah, excuse the mess, guys. The The house is literally like storage wars right now with all the stuff I'm picking up. Um, I'm, I'm slowly getting through and sorting it and stuff, um, you know, sorting through things and that. But, um, you know, obviously on top of like working and streaming and stuff, it, and obviously... Uh, editing the cabinet videos it's just everything's just crazy it always is always run at 100 mile an hour um but yeah uh, the obviously the, the best pick of the games it was mario kart Wii. Uh, a lot of the things that they are a little bit worse for wear um like the, there's some remotes kind of like that uh not the best uh condition and stuff but there are some decent ones um that are like more cleaner and stuff that i can uh you know pop with bundles and stuff uh, loads of wires in here, so I, I think we've got no problem in, um, you know, obviously setting it up and everything. So there's just the, the one Wii console in here. Um, there is a, a Wii Fit board as well at the bottom. Um, so we've got, there's Wii Play. It, it really is um, proper tangled in the wires and stuff, guys. It's a proper mess in here. Uh, Dancing Stage Hottest Party. Uh, we do have another, oh, I think there's not a disc in this one. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Could well be in the console, though. I've not yet um, powered it up or checked it. Um, we've got Just Dance, the first one. We have Just Dance 2 and 3. These have discs in. Just Dance 2 does and 3 does. So, yeah, I'm going to have to proper um, have a look through this. So, yeah, the Wii Fit does. Of course the Wii Fit does. All the cheap fodder titles do. Oh, Davina doesn't, though. Davina ain't got a disc in. Sorry, Davina. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, Just Dance 2. There we go. The stray disc is, is floating around. It's a proper, like, fit bundle. This is, guys. There's loads of your shape and Zumba. So, like you say, not the absolute best in here, but, um, you know, there's, you know, a couple of remotes. Um, there's a... A Mario Kart wheel there, um, like you say, some fodder titles, you know, a Wii set up there um, with the, um, what do you call it, with the uh, Wii Fit board. You know, I've just clocked as well, lying around in here. These were actually worth a little bit at one point in, in CX. I don't know what they are now because I know a lot of people clicked onto this, so you could basically, I'm talking a few years ago though, these were like a few quid on eBay. Uh, so it's the Wii to HDMI. So you pop that into obviously your Wii, and then you can it you can do like a HDMI output. Um, whether the quality of this is is that good, I don't know. Obviously, with some things, you 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 get what you pay for. Um, I'm not sure. Um, if it's like amazing or anything, but um, yeah, at one point these were just a couple few quid on eBay, and CX were given a lot for these. Um, yeah, I'm talking some some years ago, and a lot of people um was doing the trading for those to accumulate CEX credit. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's still worth a lot now. Um, so we'll have to see with that. But I actually don't have one of these myself, so um, it's pretty handy to have. Nice, cheeky, we take you. I've literally just clocked that. But I think that's pretty much about it for the bundle, guys. That You've got your, your literally your typical um, 
and if that attaches to something, that's like a controller, like holder. Um, yeah, I think that's for the. I'm sure that might be for like the tennis just there. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of these. Um, you know, strain on chucks and wires and stuff. So yeah, for a cheeky tenner, it's not bad. Literally, it's worth it for Mario Kart alone, right? Um, so yeah, as soon as I saw that, and then a couple of remotes in there, you know the the Wii remotes, I just thought, you know, it's, it's easily worth just taking a punt on, even if the main console or whatever doesn't work. I I know it's not in the best condition. It's going to need some cleaning up, you know, going over and just seeing what what works, what doesn't, and whatever. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a decent uh, purchase though. Just uh, pop that back. So I've got some more room again. <laughs> I'll show you guys the final pickup, but yeah, I hope you guys have um, enjoyed the video. It's been real chill vibes in here. Um, I thought with me um, choosing the t-shirt of choice uh, tonight has been NQ64. Um, so I absolutely love them venues. I've actually been to um, the ones in Manchester. Um, so I, I believe there's like there's one in Birmingham, uh, Liverpool. They're kind of scattered throughout the UK. So um, they have like a token based um, system. So you, you go in and I think you pay like a fiver for like a load of tokens. Then you just slot them into the arcade machines there. Um, so, yeah, it's quite decent value and they do real awesome like drinks and cocktails and stuff like that. Uh, please check them out, guys. Um, you know, the gaming cocktails as well. Um, you know, so it's, it's just a proper like decent gamers night out like real cool vibes in there um if you love like your old school like hip-hop and rap and stuff like that please search them on spotify as well if you just search nq64 the music they have playing it is absolute vibes there's just anything from like eminem snoop dogg to um like uh wu-tang clang um afro man um, there's just absolutely loads that they're so sick like um, i've just i've literally discovered like you know loads of like old school rap through their spotify playlist so do search up nq64 i, I love it that much i literally bought um one of their t-shirt de designs because i really um really enjoy going there and i'm actually um yeah well overdue going back there so yeah i need to make uh, another trip there soon um so yeah obviously with, with the arcade vibes i thought we'll have a cheeky golden axe playthrough in the background um yeah, so that, that's a game I've, I've managed to complete there. And uh, um, also at Arcade Club as well. Um, fortunately, at Arcade Club um, venues, it's free play. So, um, yeah, it allows you to, you know, complete um, arcade games, which I, I really love, you know. Um, so, yeah, I thought, I thought we'd have some chilled arcade vibes. But anyway, on to the last pickup, guys. Um, I just thought this was really awesome to see at the car boot. You don't um, very often, at least at my car boot, you don't really often see... Um, console variants too much um, even like the box variants and stuff you know like the Gears of War one I was really happy to see that and um, yeah don't have this console and I absolutely love how um, when you operate these variant consoles they actually have the sounds um, you know to do with the game um, so it did have um, a, a game with it I've heard of this one it's called uh, Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger I'm sure I've actually had a Blaze Blue game. It might have been this. I've, I've had one on my watch list because I, I remember seeing one on like, might have been like, on like Metal Jesus or Radical Reggie's video or something. Um, I have seen one before and um, I can't remember where I've seen it or which one exactly it is, whether it's this or if there's any others in the series. But it's been on my watch list. So um, yeah, for sure, I'll give this a go anyway. Um, like I say, it, it looks decent. It says on here, uh, voted best fighting game of the year, IGN, 9.4 out of 10. But yeah, it looks cool. Um, you know, nice if it's come with the console as well. So all the wires obviously are with the console, but they're, they're actually in my room right now because I've actually been setting this up and playing on it. Um, you know, I've tested it out and it uh, works absolutely fine. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to make sure it um, played all right and stuff. So yeah, it is, guys, the Halo Reach console. It does need a little bit of a clean up, though. Do need to go over it but um yeah got a few kind of surface scratches and stuff like say looks a little worse for it but um it, it's fine it, just after a clean up it will look um awesome so yeah i thought this was sick really cool guys i'll just pop that there a sec and it actually came with not one but two controllers hell yeah hell yeah mostly overall um you know all right condition uh they'll be all right after a clean up um, on one of them, the thumbstick um, like uh, cover is missing on that, but I believe they're easily replaceable. Literally, in all these years of car boot hunting, I've not actually replaced these before. Um, I do need to buy a load off eBay and um, and you know sort these out because I've got a lot of controllers I picked up with the you know the a little bit of the 
um, covering is worn away on that one. Obviously, that one needs fully replacing. But, um, yeah, proper cool. Um, there is, like, some scuffs on the back. Uh, you know, like the back kind of corners of the controller on both. And um, they, they did both come with plain charge kits as well. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, both are black plain charge kits. So I've got those, um, obviously, with the wires um, in my room stuff. So, yeah, really cool to see, guys. She wanted 20 quid for it. And I absolutely wasn't haggling with that at all. Because I think that's a real reasonable price. These can go for, like, literally... I'm sh I'm sure probably 80 to 100 quid, I reckon. I'm sure that's about the going rate, even more obviously boxed. But um, yeah, I was I was real happy to find those, um, you know, especially with two controllers. Um, so yeah, that has been it, guys. Um, the, the gaming goodness from the last few uh, car boots. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, thank you so much, as always, for your continued support. Um, I hope you're all doing real well with your own uh, hunting, you know, whether you're out at the car boots yourself. Uh, or charity shop or uh, game events please let me know how all you guys are doing with your collections i genuinely love to hear um how you're all doing uh, but yeah thank you so much as always guys for your continued support with my pickups videos and my streams really appreciate you all take care and i'll see you very soon in the next car boot video game hunting and pickups video take it easy guys